on a special American Heroes edition of The Family Feud. Representing the courageous men and women of law enforcement, it's the Crime Fighters. And entering the bell for firehouses everywhere, meet the Firefighters. You're about to see these two teams battle it out for thousands of dollars for their favorite charity. Because it's time to play. week we salute those brave men and women who work so hard to keep us safe. Let's meet two of them right now. AJ, Craig, let's yeah. play. Yeah. Come on. All this week, members of the fire department search and rescue and law enforcement will be pulling their winnings and playing for the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. Yeah. So far, we are over $96,000 for the fund. And with today's game, we'll try to add another 20. Let's go, shall we? Survey 100 people, top eight answers on the board. Get the popular answer, win some points, get the game, go on to win some more money for that great fund. Here we go. Name something parents tell their kids not to do, even though they did it when they were kids. AJ. Drink. Drink. Two answers can be it, Craig. Smoke. Smoke. They're going to play, AJ. All right. The firefighters. How are you, Craig? Good. How are you, Louie? I'm good. I'm good. Now, what do you have here? Oh, we got a little shirt from you on behalf of the L.A. County Fire Department and oh, Fire great. Station 54. All right. There it is. Fire Station 54. Can I put that up there? Is that all right? Well, great. Well, we're glad to have you here. Introduce me to your teammates. Uh, to my left here, I have firefighter paramedic Chris Demos. Hey, Chris. Yeah. How are you? Good to meet you. Firefighter Alan Smith. Hey, Alan. Good to see you. Nice firefighter paramedic Todd Hood. Hey, Todd. Hey, hey. And our captain at Firehouse 54, Captain Robert Ryan. Captain Robert, the firefighter. Glad to have you here. Hey, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And now, how long have you been a firefighter, Chris? About two years now. All right. And you're all in the same We're on the house, same right? firehouse on yeah? the same shift. All right. And what do you what do you think about, you, were you a kid you wanted to be a fireman? Or? Always wanted to be when yeah? I was a kid. That's the story we get over and over. We're glad to hear you. Ready to play? Definitely. All right. Name something parents tell their kids not to do, even though they did it when they were kids. I'm going to say swear. Swear. Show me swear. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, that's a hard one. Hey, Alan. Nice Hi to see there, you. Louie. How's it going? Good. Now, Alan, so how long have you been there? Seven years. Seven years. Well, we're glad to have you here. Good. All right. Name something parents tell their kids not to do, even though they did when they were kids. I want to say run with scissors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, is that... You stay away from that kid's scissors. He's, but really, I guess parents did say that. I never ran, so. <laughs> show, show me run with scissors. I just thought it was such a good, it's a very original. Hey, Todd. Hey, how's it going, Lou? Good, how are you? How many years now for you? Three years. All right, well, we're glad you're here. Ready to play? Yes, I am. Name something parents tell their kids not to do, even though they did it when they were kids. Stay out late. Stay out late. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Hey, Alan, good job. Hey, Robert. Really, my pleasure. Nice to meet you. All right, now, what is the captain in charge of? Well, I put the guys on duty, make sure they get paid, uh, make sure uh, all the EMS reports get completed in a timely manner for a month in reports. Uh, just like off of the guys on the runs, make sure we're safe and doing what we're supposed to. Well, that's great. How many years have you been there? I have 12 years on. All right, congratulations. All right, you ready to play? Yes, sir. All right. Name something parents tell their kids not to do, even though they did it when they were kids. I'm going to say be late for school. Be late for school. Up there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's two strikes. All right, Craig. Louie, I'm going to have to say uh, have sex. Have sex. Tell me have sex. There it is. You got it. All right, Chris. Name something parents tell their kids not to do, even though they did it when they were kids. I'm reaching here, but I'm going to say drop out of school. Drop out of school. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. That's great. Right, right. 
<laughs> what do you think, AJ? Okay. Not to lie. Not to lie. <laughs> Show me not to lie. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number seven. Sneak out. Okay, Chris, Victoria. Victoria, come on, let's play. We like to both teams. We surveyed 100 people, top six answers on the board. Name something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home with him from work. Victoria. Uh, his truck. His truck. Show me the truck. Pass or play? We will play. They're going to play, Chris. All right, the crime fighters. All right. How are you doing, AJ? Good, good, sir. Nice to good see sir. you again. Good, sir. We're glad you're here. Thank you. How long have you been with the police department? I've been a couple weeks short of 12 years. Wow. Okay. How did 12 years? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, on behalf of the police officers, we wear memorial, memorial rem remembrance brands, oh, basically. Great. And and you got one for fire right. and now you got is one it, for the police. It isn't significant which hand you wear it on, is it? No. Okay? No. It's, well, because some show. people say, you know, like, you guys always wear your badges on this side, right? Yeah. Isn't that part of the whole thing? In a sense, yes. Yeah, yes. okay. Well, we're in glad. a sense, they, you got that on. And uh, now, are these things that people can purchase, or is this your own... Well, we purchased through the did. police department to support the New York firefighters okay. and police officers, and in sense, and most officers in, in remembrance of, of fallen officers or officers that lost their life in line of duty, they All wear right. a remembrance band. All so, right, well, we're glad to have you. You ever see that in the street? Now Thank you know. Thank you very much. Now you know. All right. Well, introduce me to your teammates. Okay, first of all, we got Victoria from the Orange County Sheriff's right. Department. Yeah. 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 We got Adrian, who works at LAPD Hollywood Division. Hi, how are you? Charlene, LAPD 77th Division. Hi, Charlene. And Ron, uh, LAPD West Traffic Division, a motor officer. Hey, Ron, the Woo! crime fighters. All right, glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank now, you. how many games have you guys won? We uh, won two, two games And already. they won? Uh, one. One. Oh, All right, Victoria. Right, Victoria. Victoria with the Sheriff's Department. Yes. Am I right? Yes, I Let's am. see if I have this right. For almost 12 years? Yes, for 12 years. Ah, I yeah. remember. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank hey, Adrian. Hi, nice Lee. to how meet are you. you. Nice to meet I'm you. Good. How many years for you? Five years. Five years. And where are you located? Hollywood. In Hollywood. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you ready to give it a try? Yes, I am. All right. Name something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home with him from work. A fire hose. A fire hose. Yeah. 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 Good job. Hi, Sharon. Hi, how are you nice doing? Nice to see you. I'm doing good. I'm having fun. This is a great week for us, and we want to give away a lot of money, and we want you guys to win it. <laughs> so do we. You ready to play? Yes. All right. Name something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home with them from work. His uh, fire suit thing, the yellow thing they wear. The fire suit thing. <laughs> Up there. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? Now, fine, did fine. you say you were a motorcycle? Y yes, sir. A motorcycle. Oh, you're the it's guys. Hitter. Yeah, we see you guys last. Yes, we're yes, zooming yes, through. Yes, yes. Wait, oh, no. As a matter of fact, yeah. I'm up here on Barham in the 101. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. That's what people do. They like to get away. Now, why is there always two of you guys? Uh, there, well, there's always two officers in a car. Oh, and so they always the like same to keep thing? you putting oh. up in a, in a motorcycle. Oh, I same had no thing. idea. That's why. That's a great reason. It's just an officer safety. All right. Well, good. We're glad to have you. How long have you been doing that? 13 years. Oh. Well, <laughs> I've been on a motorcycle for three years. You've been on a motorcycle for three years, okay. But I was, I've was i been an officer for 13 years. So. All right, well, we're glad to have you here, all right? Glad to be here. All right, you ready to play? Yes, sir. Name something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home with him from work. How about their pet Dalmatian? How about their pet Dalmatian? <laughs> Two spot run. I never even thought of that. That's a good answer. What do you think, AJ? Well, I'm going to have to say the ladder. The ladder. Good answer, good answer. The ladder. Good job. Nate, something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home from him with, from work. Oh. The pole they come down on. The <laughs> good answer, good answer. And take the pole you've come down on with you. <laughs> the pole. That's very good. I never thought of that. Is the pole going home? Oh, that's a great answer, though. Adrian. Okay. What do you think? Name something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home with him from work. How about their work boots? The boots. All right. Is that part of the uniform? Is that part of the uniform? Part of uniform. Okay. Name something you'd be surprised to see a firefighter take home with him from work. 
How about the picks they use? The picks they use. Good answer. Good answer. Show me the pick. Fighters 153, firefighters at the score. Adrian Alley, let's play. Good luck to both families. Well, in a sense, it's really true. You guys are families at what you do. We surveyed 100 people, top six answers on the board. Name something you can buy at the concession stand of a movie theater. Alan. Popcorn. Popcorn. They're going to play, Adrian. All right. Popcorn. Todd? All right, Louie, I'm going to say candy. Candy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Robert. Okay. Our captain. Okay. Name something you could buy at the concession stand of a movie theater. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Yeah. Yeah. They took all the easy ones so far. You still got one, Craig? Uh, yes, sir, Louie. I'm going to go with uh, bonbons. Bonbons. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. Chris? Try nachos. Nachos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Oh. You guys are on fire, so to speak. <laughs> All right, Alan. I'm going to go with hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah. 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 We got a Dane. Crime Fighters 153. Firefighters 100. We'll triple the point. Don't go away. Captioning is sponsored in part by... Get a record. Welcome back to the American Heroes edition of The Family Feud. Crime Fighters 153, Firefighters 100. Charlene Todd, let's play. <laughs> Good luck to both teams. One strike only. Point values triple. Very important. I'm only going to read this question to you two once. Surveyed 100 people. Top three answers are on the board. Name something men keep in a shaving kit. Hi. A shaver. Shaver. <laughs> Pass or play? We're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to play. They're going to play so you can huddle right away because there's only one strike. All right, Robert. Name something men keep in a shaving kit. Shaving cream. Shaving cream. <laughs> okay, Craig. Name something men keep in a shaving kit. Extra razors. Extra razors. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. What do you think, AJ? Aftershave. Aftershave. Yes. Yeah. If it's up there, you'll play for the money. If not, the firefighters will. Show me aftershave. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. That was a hard one. I was thinking of that thing you used for a cut. Sorry, you guys. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Who's going to play fast? Money. You're gonna go. You're gonna go first. Let's do it. What are we gonna do when we come back, Ron? We're gonna. When we come back, that's money. We're gonna play for twenty thousand dollars. All right. If you and your family want to be contestants on Family Feud, and you live in or are planning to visit Southern California. Call us at 818-260-5800. Prime Fighters won the game. Time to play Fast Money. A chance at $20,000. We're at over 96000 so if you won twenty, we could take it to 116000 
from the New York Police Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. All right? All right, Ron? That's right. Uh, AJ's backstage. Can't hear or see anything I'm going to say. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. You get flustered. You can't think of something. Say pass. If there's time left, I'll come back and read it. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, and AJ, you and AJ get 200 points or more. You get the money. All right? Woo! Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock starts when I finish reading the first question. Good luck. Yes, sir. For the first question, we surveyed 100 women. Keep that in mind. Tell me which sport has the best-looking men. Football. Name a fruit whose smell is easy to recognize. Orange. Name something a man would need if he wanted to dress up like Colonel Sanders. Uh, hat. Name an occupation little boys want to be when they grow up. Firefighters. Name a pet you have to keep in a cage. A uh, bird. Good job. Good job. And surveyed 100 women. Tell me which sport has the best looking men. You said football. Survey said. Yeah. Name a fruit whose smell is easy to recognize. You said orange. Survey said. Yeah. Name something a man would need if he wanted to dress up like Colonel Sanders. You said. He needs that hat. Survey said. Two. Oh. That's all right. You got 60 already. Name an occupation little boys grow up, want to be when they grow up. Was that a nice compliment you paid your that was very part, nice your, your, your teammate, you know, the other team? Yes. That was nice of you. Now, are uh, you going to get flack on that from your side? No. Oh, all right, nice. good. All right, you said. A great firefighter. Survey said. Party. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Name a pet you have to keep in a cage. You said. A bird. Survey said. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, sir. How are you? Good, 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 good. Ron yeah. got 157 points. All right, ready to go. All right, all right. All right. So we need 43. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. Try to give me the most popular answer. You get flustered. You can't think of something. Say pass. If there's time left, I'll come back and read it. Okay. You hear this sound? <laughs> it means that uh, you've duplicated one of those answers. Okay. And I'll say try again. You'll give me another answer, all right? Okay. Let's remind everybody but you. So don't look there. Ron's answers. There they are. Ready? Yes. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock starts when I finish reading the first question. For the first question only, we surveyed 100 women. Tell me which sport has the best-looking men. Uh, basketball. Name a fruit whose smell is easy to recognize. Ooh, uh, peach. Name something a man would need if he wanted to dress up like Colonel Sanders. Uh, uh, bow tie. Name an occupation little boys want to be when they grow up. Um, football players. Name a pet you have to keep in a cage. Ooh, uh, hamster. All right, good job. Yeah, yeah! Good job, Woo! good job, good job, AJ. Tell me which sport has the best looking men. We surveyed 100 women for that question. You said basketball. Survey said 22. Woo! You need 21. Football was number one. Football was number one. Name a fruit whose smell is easy to recognize. You said. Peach. Survey said. Ten. Orange was number one. Um, name something a man would need if he wanted to dress up like Colonel Sanders. You said a bow tie. White suit was the number one answer. But you only need 11. And Bird was number one. They almost got all the number one. That makes over $116,000 for the New York Police and Fire Widows and Charities Benefit Fund. We'd like to hear heroes. Come back and see our heroes on the feud. You need a car to get the most out of life, but banks won't finance you if you have bad credit or no credit at all. Get the car you need and deserve. Call 1-800-BAR-NONE right now. Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact. It's cough and cold season. Fact. Lysol spray helps stop the spread of the cold virus. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. 
At University of Phoenix Online, you attend class when and where you want via the Internet. To learn more, call 877-386-GRAD or visit our website.